hello everyone and welcome back to another video of our web development series and so far um, we have been learning javascript and we have been learning javascript like producing i mean outputting the code in the console right so we are seeing the code as it is and seeing what it does right but it's no use um, learning about it if you are not going to apply it to our website right so in this lesson i want to show you how we can incorporate javascript into our uh, website okay so uh, i'll do one thing i'll put javascript uh, folder up here here i am gonna create index.html okay and here I am going to have my boiler code. Okay, it's not coming. I don't know what happened to my IDE. I hope it works now. Okay, it works now. So, not this one. Okay, this is my boiler code. Here, I'll just say title my website i'll save it and i'll have another file style.css and in the index here i'll give uh okay it was not it was this yeah link i don't know why it is not coming okay it is now coming the relation is style sheet and href is style.css right we are not going to have any style just adding it and here i am going to have h1 and here i am going to say hello world okay now if i just go live this is how it looks okay nothing much now you can add javascript into our code in three ways okay one is inline javascript one is internal javascript and one is external javascript so internal javascript basically means uh, we are like going to incorporate it inside our tags only suppose what i want i want like when my site gets loaded i get an alert of hi okay so body would be like in the body tag we can do that do that thing if i want to have the inline one so for that there is something called onload so what does onload do onload basically um like it why whatever javascript code uh, we write inside onload that is uh, implemented when this tag or this element is loaded okay i mean if i refresh this page the body element would be loaded and when it is loaded whatever javascript is inside it would get implemented okay uh, great now what i'll do i'll just simply say alert uh, okay alert and here i'll say let's say hello now you are seeing that okay you wrote the code but there is some error inside it if i click on the error you can see it is saying this expected now why this is happening because see when we write on load we need these uh, double quotation marks but what our code basically gets from here is that this quotation and this quotation mark is one and this and this one is different okay i mean so it means that on load and like when we write on load and this is the part when it is closed okay and that is not the case here this this whole thing is the uh sorry this whole thing is the javascript thing so what you do you change the inside double quotation marks to single quotation marks and now you get no error if i go back here see it is showing me hello and if i click on okay then i get the hello world okay great 
so this was one way so obviously this is not the uh, what should i say the correct way okay because it is not very modular it is difficult to debug and it is also not a very good practice as well okay so i'll just remove it okay and now the next way of incorporating javascript is internal javascript so we can add it by simply using our keyword called script and inside the script code we can have any javascript code which we want so i can simply write alert hello if i save it i come back it shows me this and uh thing is printed okay great now what exactly happens here is that um, the browser will read through the website line by line like line 1 2 3 and 10 11 12 and as soon as it hits 13 uh it hits this script tag it will carry the javascript code which is inside it okay great now to be like more in a uh, like it is a good practice that here you mentioned the type okay so type here is basically text slash javascript like here are um compiler already got it that it is a javascript uh code but still if you mention it uh your compiler would take less time and it would be like in on for better practice okay great now you can have this but if you write start writing your javascript code inside of index.html it is going to be very lengthy and again very hard to read and very hard to debug so i'll remove it from here as well now now what you can do is you can have external javascript so external javascript means you have to write script and here you can have a source so you can have the source as let's say index.js and then you need to have cache it of utf8 okay okay great now uh what this code um does exactly it uh, basically gives you an external source okay so i can have a file called in sorry index.js and yeah and here i can simply write alert hello world okay great again we can see this and we can see this as well okay great now this is this was one thing now another thing which i want to talk about like whenever you are using this uh, external file where to put this script tag like in the css uh like in the css lectures we got to know that we should put this inside the head so that every style is applied before the contents are loaded okay so that's why it is inside the head but where to put this hmm this is a very tough thing like you should be knowing about it okay 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 Okay, I'm going to write something which you are not familiar with. So just bear with me. We'll cover it in the future videos, but just for the moment, and I'll tell you what it does exactly. Okay. So what it does is it selects a tag of h1 and it changes its inner html which is the text inside it to goodbye okay great 
you can see it has changed the text to goodbye but what if i put it uh, um okay let's do one thing let's put an alert over here as well to see if it works or not like you don't know about document query selector inner html we will talk about it later but just to give a reference of where to put the script i'm using it and i told you how it works right if i open it this arrive and goodbye okay great but if i put this above it what would happen hello world but it is it is not what we want what happens compiler uh, comes line by line line by line line by line line by line and it hits the script now inside the script it goes here and it say okay alert is done and then it has to you know change the inner html of h1 to goodbye but till here it has not found h1 so it hasn't changed anything but h1 is down so it is always recommended to have the script tag at the end of the body like you can write all the html till here and then you write the script okay great so i hope you understood how you can add javascript to your websites to your html pages and in the future we in the upcoming videos we are going to learn about these things query selector inner html so this all basically comes under dom which is document object model okay great so thank you for watching this video and see you later